welcome back in this tutorial i am going to draw a flow chart that will find sum of digits of a number suppose i have a number suppose i have a 153 153 is my number and i am going to find sum of its digits i am going to find sum of 1 plus 5 plus 3 and this is equal to 9 and my answer is 9 the input of my flow chart is this 153 and my output of flow chart is 9 why, why it is 9? It is because of 1 plus 5 plus 3 that is equal to 9. So I will draw a flow chart for this and after drawing flow chart we will discuss a memory map of this flow chart. I have completed my flow chart. Now I will draw a memory map of this flow chart. First of all I have declared a variable x. Is it okay? I have declared a variable x. What is this variable x? This is the number that I have to read. Suppose my number is 153. So my x is 153. I have declared x and I have given it a value 153 and I, I am going to find the sum of its digits. Its digits are 1, 5 and 3. So the sum of its digits is 1 plus 5 plus 3 that is equal to 9. So now x second variable I have declared here sum sum I have initialized as 0. So I will write here sum is equal to 0. R is the third variable that I am using here. This is R. I will write here R. Okay. I will write here R. I have assigned x% 10 to this R. What is this percent? Percent means remainder. This is the what is this R is equal to x% 10. What is this percent? Percent means remainder. Suppose I want to find the remainder of 5 and 2. 2, 2 into 2 is equal to 4. What is the difference? 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. This 2 is the quotient and this 1 is the remainder. And if I have to find the remainder of 2 and 5, if I have to find the remainder of this 5 and this 2, the remainder is 1. But the coefficient is 2. But I need to find the remainder. So I have to write this 1 as a remainder. So, x percent 10, what is this x? x is this 153. Percent 10, so we have to find 153 divided by 10, but I have to find the remainder. 10 into 15 is equal to 150. The remainder is 3. So, 3 will be assigned to this r. So, I will write 3 here. In this r, I will write 3. Then, I have to write, I have to update this x. x is equal to x divided by 10. What is this x? x is 153. 153 divided by 10. If you see, when I was finding the, when I was finding this remainder here, at the same time, when I was finding the remainder, at the same time, I was finding the coefficient. That was 15. Similarly, this 15 will be the output here as the result of this division. Okay? This division Earlier it was it was this uh, remainder. Now it is division. Same thing. I have to divide 153 divided with 10. Like earlier. Earlier I was dividing this 153 with this 10. So it will be 15. 150. And the remainder will be 3 and division will be 15. Earlier we have taken this 3 and written here. But this time I have to take this 15 because I am this time I am not finding finding the remainder here. This is the division I am finding here. This is division here. X divided by 10. So X will be updated. X is equal to. This result will be assigned to this X. What is the result? The result is 15 this time. And this 15 will be assigned to this X. And here it will come 15. Sum is equal to. Then we will move this step. Sum is equal to sum plus R. What is my sum? Sum is my. 0. Sum is 0. This will be updated. 0 plus r. What is this r? r is 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. So, it will be updated to 3. Then I have to check the condition. If this x, if x is equal to 0. Is this x equal to 0? No. This is equal to 15. So, if it is no, this time it is no. This time it is no. So, we will reach to this. We have to repeat the steps from this r is equal to x percent 10. What is the x? 
this time x is 15 this time x is 15 this time x is 15 so i will write 15 divided by 10 here it is 10 but i have to consider the remainder this time i have not to find the coefficient i have to find the remainder so 10 into 1 is equal to 10 and the remainder is 5 and this 5 will be assigned to r here it is r here it will come 5 now this step x is equal to x divided by 10 and sim similar x is 15 so i will not uh, make it again let me consider this this is 15 x and i have to divide it by 10 and this time i have not to consider this remainder i have to consider this coefficient because i am writing here x is equal to x divided by 10 not x percent 10 this is divide so if i am talking about divide i have to take coefficient if i am talking about the remainder i have to take this 5 so this time it is division so x will be updated to 1 okay sum is equal to sum plus r this is my sum sum is my th this time sum is 3 3 plus r is equal to 8 what is r r is 5 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 so if x is equal to 0 is this x 0 no this is 1 this is 1 this time x is 1 so if x is equal to 0 no this is not 0 so we will come into the no part again we have to move to this step again we have to move to this r is equal to x percent 10 because x is not 0 so what is x x is 1 percent 10 I have to find the remainder 10 zeros 0 and the remainder is 1 so this will be assigned to r r is equal to 1 and next step is x is equal to x divided by x is equal to x divided by 10 so I have already made a division I have not to consider this remainder this time I have to consider this coefficient this time as it is division as it is x divided by 10 x is 1 and divided by 10 and the result is 0 this is 0 is this this is the coefficient so x is equal to this sum is equal to sum plus r what is sum sum is 8 plus r 8 plus 1 is 9 now this time x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 yes this time x is 0 you can see here x is 0 you can see x is 0 so we have to move to the yes part this is our yes part and in yes part i am simply i am writing print sum simply i am writing print sum so whatever is in the sum field i have to print this out what is in my sum field you can see here you can see here sum is 9 and i have to print this 9 that is the answer and then i have to stop thank you guys Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.